Hey guys, this is a project we've been working on for probably about the last three weeks now. Um, whatever. Um, so, uh, as you can see there, this is supposed to be a flat world, um, but for some reason, uh, we left it on so that periodically one of us, me, Derek, or Alicia, can come on and just quickly do uh, a Pokemon or two. But for some reason, after it was left on for a while, it decided just to change back into a regular world and just start generating mountains and such. So um, it kind of got fucked up. Mm -hmm. But um, so basically, uh, we did have to like make our Pokemon. It, it's funny how it was, of course, the last 10 Pokemon we had to do. We usually did about nine a day, um, nine to 10 a day. So these last. This was been the last night we had to do it, and we were just about to do it, and then I come into the world, realize something's wrong, tell Derek, he realizes what's going on, and uh, there was no hope. Yeah. So, so we had to make our Pokemon at Aerodactyl. We had to make it turn, and then turn again. So. Um, to pretty much exclude the uh, the back. Ground mountains and uh, well, everything not just that, shot. but um, just to fit them. Number one, because obviously we came way too far to quit. I mean, right here you have 151 fucking sprites, and yeah, it. Yeah, it was three pretty weeks much... of work. We couldn't just was... stop. Yeah, it turned out to be. Essentially, <laughs> a race against uh, anybody else that would have had this idea. Because, I mean, a super flat world build 151, you know what? We're just going to shovel that out. That'll be our thing. And um, so we, we got started um, pretty much right after it was announced. But uh, anyway, what, what we decided that we're going to talk about on this journey to and through the 151 is the, um, the play styles of, of the original um, Game Boy games. <clears throat> uh, the first two generations of Pokemon, in my opinion, and hopefully most of the world's opinion, the best generations of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. The two that looked like Pokemon. <laughs> and didn't just start shoveling out. Here is a saxophone. <laughs> it is now a Pokemon. But the, uh, Still, to this day, again, to this handle. fucking day, what the fuck is Lau Red? La loud Red. <laughs> I hate that thing. <laughs> that thing is so stupid. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, I mean, these are the classics. We figured we'd bring them to you. A uh, lot of classics. These are the classics as well. Uh, I did think that maybe after we were done, we, would, we might possibly do the next hundred. But then after we were done this and all the fucking problems that we went through, uh, we basically all said, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, we pretty much just called it. Was it was basically, it basically came down to two ideas. One, um, do on one side of every Pokemon, the regulars, and then the back, the shinies. Or two, um, do the next 100. So e it's either doing 151 recolors, um, so less work and less mistakes since it's just copying on the back of them, or 100 fresh uh, Pokemon to do. Um, in the end, we dropped both because we were fed up with all the problems in this stupid... Yeah. St it's stupid. Anyway. It becomes a lot harder. Uh, anyway, so yeah, back um, back to what we were saying. It's The, the main question here is, is how did you play the original Pokemon? Yeah. Uh, in, my, in my example, I played where uh, in my party there was one Pokemon that was the strongest. It was, it was my Charizard, I remember, um, and he was a level a uh, hundred before anyone else was like breaking level fifty. Oh, dude! Um, I, as we were just talking about before, um, earlier. Oh my God, my Froligator, she can destroy the entire Leaf Four just by using Cut. <laughs> yeah so i mean that's that's how we play i know other people that play um where they're trying to constantly... that's how i used to play that's how i used to play yeah now i try to keep all my pokemon at the same up around yeah, the on same par level. yeah so you level you know one up whatever whatever I, I just couldn't do it it was too tedious for me and 
but you know that's how I played. And then there's other people that play. Um, I've got a couple of friends that uh, they they get down to the real mechanics of the game, oh, like yeah, the statistics fuck. and everything, right? They are retardedly weird. They know so much. Yeah, like they I don't can... really use a lot of stat moves, but mm. they use it because they know exactly when and how and everything to use it. Like it, wow. <laughs> it, it's, it's it boggles almost, my mind. For for the uh, for the, anybody that's played the the classics, it's something that you should look for on YouTube. Just look for for like um, matches that people record. Oh yeah, and uh, you'll see little things like little Pokemon that you wouldn't expect to do anything yeah. to just rape an entire like thing. For my example, entire now my on, entire on. Uh, Pokemon team is forged from my favorite Pokemon. Like, that's just how I always used to do it. Of course, I did somewhat think about it. Like, uh, I had some Pokemon that would have certain HMs. Like, I didn't want to constantly switch through Pokemon. So usually I tried to think of a party, that Pokemon that looked cool to me, that I really liked, that um, I just taught HMs. And, of course, back in the first two uh, generations of Pokemon, there was Cut, Surf, Fly... Strength, uh, Rock Smash wasn't an HM No, it yet. wasn't there. And Flash. also wasn't entirely needed. Um, Flash, I didn't keep on any of my Pokemon because, as I said, I don't use stat moves mm -hmm. back, especially back then. Um, so I had like Frolligator had both Surf and Cut, um, and then like uh, it was my Noctowl. I'm not sure. Noctowl, I think, had Fly, and then it was like. Um, Ah, I can't remember exactly who else, but um, yeah, I mean, it's been so long. I can easily dig it up, but all I remember, my frolicator will fuck you up. <laughs> um, um, another question not just that, that I have. Not just that. Go it on, was the go. only level one hundred, and I look in my party. My other, my only other highest level is like thirty-five red Gyarados. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty much like the story of my life when I play <laughs> Pokemon. Although, and how exciting was it when you finally got that one Pokemon to level 100? It you you didn't no one would fight you on the playground because that shit was like, well that shit was legendary. See, it's like oh did you hear about Joe? He has a fucking level 100. Fuck your mouth, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, just what he nicknamed it because he's he's weird like that. See. Like, I enjoyed playing that way. I always had my strongest Pokemon. But the biggest kick to the nuts was Later. when that Pokemon got killed. There was oh, God, nothing. yeah. I could have, there was nothing. Somehow, there, just somehow. Just fucking uh, Jimmy's. Yeah. You never expect Jimmy to whip out a fucking Rattata and kick your ass. <laughs> or Especially like, when you have a fucking dragon. I don't know. <laughs> you have, like, <laughs> fucking level 100 Kingdra that knows Hydro Pump and shit. And he uses that Rattata move. Yeah, the that lucky uh, strategy and fudges you up. The lucky one-hit KO move, you know, pulled out by one of their Pokemon. Yeah. Essentially, just taking out that one Pokemon, you're you, there's nothing left. Oh yeah, no, you're screwed. You're absolutely screwed. <laughs> um, Luke, what uh, what 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 was your favorite of the like the buried trios? Like my favorite was it to this day. It's Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot. Oh, like, oh, okay, I thought you were talking about the legendary birds. No, no. Um, so wait, you mean, like, Trio, like, has to have a three-stage evolution? No, 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 I mean, like, the birds, because every generation... Yeah, every, okay, well, the first generation technically had two, uh, I think they're called regional birds, mm -hmm. but to be perfectly honest, Pidgeot is really close, but I really do love Noctowl. Yeah, no, Noctowl is really, really cool. I love Noctowl. Noctowl is probably, uh, my favorite of those little birds. Mm -hmm. Well, um. Okay, well, here's another one. Uh, what. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um. What Pokemon did you always have in your party? No matter what game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm looking at it right now, actually. Uh, for me. Oh, Gyarados? Yeah. I uh, always had a Gyarados. Usually me, my Red was... Gyarados. Hunter or Charizard. I mean, well, I don't know. I'm assuming not Charizard for like Ruby and Sapphire. Mm. Unless you trade them in from your Fire Red. For those games, uh, 
afterwards I did trade it in, but yeah. um, I actually traded them into Fire Red because Fire Red was so much better. I liked exploring. I okay, honestly, again, back to what we were talking about way before we even started filming this, but I want like remakes. The remakes of the older games were amazing. Ah, oh, they're so good. Oh, oh, here we go. We're approaching the turn. <laughs> that turn. That turn. Uh, um. So hold on. I I'm really. Gonna... I do miss what Pokemon was, and I'm pretty sad at what it's become, really. Um, I mean, yeah, Pokemon, just, but they're really just shoveling things out. Just Yeah, I don't want them to make it. any more Pokemon. I don't. Yeah. Like, when... Like, when... okay, remember, remember that episode of South Park? They're raping him? <laughs> That's Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> like... When when you try to make Pokemon out of a couple of gears, or you try a adding chandelier. evolutions, yeah, I try adding evolutions to Pokemon that really shouldn't have any. Yeah, they did not need any more evolutions. <sighs> it's it, it's it's upsetting, and you wish that things could be like they were, but like okay, as I said, Generation Two did a good job. You know, it just it any evolution it added was kind of interesting. Well, in my opinion, like mm -hmm. um, Iglybuff or Cleffa or Pichu, um, I didn't hate them. I really liked them, actually, especially Pichu. Pichu's adorable. <laughs> but um, 